UNESCO made uh, declared 4th of March of every year as a, a World Engineering Day. So uh, the Institution of Engineering Technologies and Technicians together with the Kenya Engineering Technology Registration Board came together to celebrate the day. And they are celebrating the day within Nakuru region by sponsoring a golf tournament. And we are very grateful that we have had the tournament. It has been a great day for us. The day also was a good one because the members of the Engineering Technology Registration Board and the members of Institution of Engineering Technology and Technicians had an opportunity to bond together with uh, industry players. This is because the engineering technology professionals or the members within the engineering profession provide solutions to problems that affect us as a society. We have partnered with these industry players because we pride ourselves as the industrialization partners. That is our theme and that is our motto as the Institution of Engineering Technologies and Technicians. We provide as professionals innovative solutions to problems that affect the society. So we, any societal issues can be presented to us and uh, the members who are competent, very skilled, are ready to come up with solutions that uh, address those challenges. We also take this opportunity as uh, the Institution of Engineering Technology and Technicians to inform the industry players to call on the institution whenever they have any issues that they need to be addressed. And uh, they, as a society, we have a regulator called the Kenya Engineering Technology Registration Board that ensures that these professionals are competent enough, they have the skills, and they can actually provide those solutions. This Kenya Engineering Technology Registration Board is a government body that is uh, established under the Engineering Technology Act of 2016. So they ensure that the professionals who are engaged in the industry, they should be registered, regulated, and they are licensed as per the Act. Na siku ya leo tuko hapa Nakuru kwa sababu ya kusherehekea siku ya uhadisi katika ulimwengu kote ni siku ambaye umekuwa ikisherehekewa katika sehemu tofauti tofauti za Kenya na kama kikundi hiki cha eh, Kenya yeah, Institution of Engineers of Kenya or Institution of Engineering Technologists and Technicians of Kenya tumeweza kutayarisha sherehe hapa na tukaungana na kikundi ya Kenya, Nakuru Golf Club na ili tuweze kuwa na mshikamano na wale ambao wanaendesha viwanda na wale ambao wana wapatia hizo huduma za uhadisi na kwa hivyo tumekuwa na michezo ya golf na wa, uh, wana michezo tofauti tofauti wameweza kuwa na hiyo nafasi nasi na kama ambao wameweza kusponsor tumekuwa hapa na ili kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo siku imekuwa ya kufana na niseme kwamba kumekuwa na sherehe katika matawi yetu tofauti tofauti tawi la moranga walikuwa na sherehe yao tawi la kakamega walikuwa na sherehe tawi la mombasa na hapa tawi la nakuru Na kwa hivyo lengo letu kubwa ni kufanya uma ama watu huko nje wajua kwamba wahadisi wako na wanaendelea na kazi yao na pia wao wanajivunia siku yao ya kitaifa ama ya ulimwengu kuonyesha kwamba ile kazi ambayo wanafanya na suruhisho ambazo wanatoa za zile changamoto ambazo zinapatana na watu tuko tiari na tuko imara kuweza kutoa suruhisho. Niseme ya kwamba serikali ya Kenya iko na mambo ambayo inakusudia kufanya katika mambo ya ujenzi ama kufadhili ama kupeana manyumba kwa sababu ya watu sisi tuko pale kuhakikisha hilo doto limeweza kutimika tunapoongea kuhusu kusalisha chakula tuko pale kutoa technology ambayo itasaidia huo usalishaji wa chakula uweze kuwa imarika na mambo mengine mengi ambayo serikali inakusudia kufanya sisi kama hili kundi tuko tayari kuungana na serikali na kuhakikisha haya mambo yote yameweza kutekelezwa na kwa hivyo tuko na furaha ya kwamba siku ya leo imekuwa ya kufana e, changamoto ambayo tumekuwa tukikumbana nayo ni wakati ujenzi ama manyumba inapoendelea kujengwa unasikia nyumba limeboromoka mara nyingi watu huwa wanatoa rawama kwa wahadisi bila kujua hasani nani ambaye anawakuraumiwa 
kunaro jambo ambalo linahitajika kwamba tunapoongea kuhusu kikundi hapa the regulator ambaye anastahili kunakiri kuna, kuna na kutoa uh, license ya kufanya kazi unakuta wale ambao wameajiri wa hawa watu hawana hizo license na kwa hivyo wakati uh, challenge kama hiyo inapotokea unakuta ni watu wote wanaraumiwa lakini wale ambao wamequalify sio wale walikuwa wanafanya ile kazi so changamoto yetu ama ile tungetoa kwa serikali ni kwamba waweza kuhakikisha kwamba wale watu ambao wanaajiriwa zile kazi ni watu ambao wamehitimu ni watu ambao wamepewa license na ili hiyo kazi iweze kuendelea vizuri na kwa hivyo ombi letu ni kwamba kwa saa hizi hatuna ile board ambayo ni ya kutoa hizo leseni tungeomba serikali iweze kuharakisha hilo jambo la kutoa hizo leseni na amini hiyo board na ili tuweze kupata leseni za kuendelea kufanya kazi